All right, guys, I was tired of Mike giving me the wrong yardages. So I replaced them with a little bit of AI. Let's go, Roboto. All right, guys, today we're at Westchester Hills Golf Club, and have you ever seen anything like this before? I have a robotic caddy that is gonna follow me around everywhere I go out there. I got this little transmitter on my back, that's all I need. Watch this, you ready, Roboto? Let's go. All right, Jackie, talk to us about the first hole. It looks pretty simple. First hole is pretty straightforward. Keep it in the fairway. Green uh, is sloping left to right a little bit. Um, pins on the right side today. So it's a little bit of a tricky pin placement, but just hit center of the green and, you know. Just the center of the green. Too. That's all. So, uh, center of the green. That's all. A little bit about my game. I take the Bryson approach. I'm just gonna hit the ball as far as I can. The full send approach. The full send. Love it. We're talking about the rough. Is it thick and shaggy right now? We're in that Westchester ball. It's clean. Ball. It's clean right now. Okay. It's clean. Uh, Justin, our superintendent, has done a really good job. It's in great shape. So it's all clean cut. Hopefully, not too many problems out there. Okay. And speaking of Bryson, I'm not going to let you go without telling me the background story. I saw your Instagram. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know. I was uh, over at Trump that night, and Bryson walks in with the cup and filled it up with a Magnum. And just, yeah. yeah. That's it. That's, that's awesome. what you do. That's right. exactly that, you fill it up with a magnum like, and you go. More to say. Right. <laughs> right. That's the whole story. <laughs> cool. So pretty much all the bunkers out here, you're gonna see those being redone between uh, now and next spring, and there all the facings gonna be redone. It'd be a lot more clear from the tee box, and it'd be redone with white sand and whatnot. So it'd be pretty clear where not to hit. She's still back there. I don't think the novelty's gonna wear off for a bit, but uh, tell you what, we caught a beautiful October day here. 10 a.m., short sleeves already. These are the type of days you just, uh, you can't script them better than this. Come on. Good job, man. Nice butt. There's the best ball. There it is. <laughs> That berm was put in this spring, and there used to be probably eight pine trees that flanked this whole left side. Oh, wow. And they were thick, really big ones that hung really low to the rough, so the turf was kind of struggling, so they moved it all out. That berm is gonna become fescue to match the rest of the golf course, okay. and now it just totally opens it up and it has uh, become a much better golf course. So, Mike, they knew you were coming, and they know you like to aim way left. Yep. And they took those trees out. I'll find so a tree. No I'll, excuses. Find a, I'll find a tree as you run. I'm gonna over. run you over with that car. I'm gonna run you over. Good shot. Good ball, man. Felt good to hit a good tee shot there. My, my second tee shot was a disaster, but uh, I'll tell you what, I've been working on it a little bit. Finally got a little bit of a draw out of it. Actually, the good benefit was I got to put in a bunch of driver swings when we did our TSI fitting recently. So just spending the day on the range with the driver just shows, put the work in. I mean, that was a fitting, but put the work in with the club and often it pays off. 
forza. I thought we hit good drive. He's in a different time zone. Come on. No, you're in a different time zone. We thought we hit good drives. Great shot. So this hole and the next tee box number six are much different than they were last year. There used to be two large trees to the left of the fifth green. Uh, those were taken out. They have a fairway run up they redid. And there used to be a lot of overgrowth behind the sixth green, or sixth tee, I'm sorry. So the bridge was redone. They cleared out a lot of that area. To the right side of the sixth tee was redone. There was a beautiful waterfall put in. So this entire area was basically reshaped um, it is now significantly more aesthetically pleasing and also plays much better. That could work nice. Yeah. Good shot. Yeah, it worked. No, don't fade. All right, Jackie, so tell us a little bit about your past. I mean, what brought you to Westchester Hills? Where were you before this? When did you get into the game? I started playing golf out of the womb. Mm -hmm. um, I Love played uh, college golf at Hofstra, and uh, after college, I ended up uh, being a golf pro at Trump National and Briarcliff. Kind of wanted to go more towards the marketing side of things. I also kind of suck at teaching. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> probably because that wasn't my path, but uh, this is perfect for me. I get to, you know, be around golf all the time, play golf, and you know, be on the marketing side of it, so it's a lot more fun. Full set! Full set! <laughs> like it! See how fast this thing can go. Another really cool hole here, par five. Blind tee shot, but give you a very clear aiming point of that hump. And now we've got a green up there that's protected by water. And as we, we heard earlier, it's not a particularly long course. You know, we're playing it, you know, the back tees, but it's about 6,500, but it's the targets are so small. I got a 256 shot, but all protected by water here. Try to come up short of that water. Crank this thing once up all It's a little creepy, right? It's your stalker. <laughs> I tell you what, I am really digging these things though, right? How cool is it? It follows you everywhere. It is pretty darn smart. Like I said, you think it's gonna run you over, but then Oh, yeah, trust her, she stopped. So of course, I gotta know, what do you guys think? Have you ever played with these before? What do you think? Have you tried them? Pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool. So Jack, you mentioned Pebble before. Yeah. Which was, I'm sure, an epic trip. Oh my gosh, what best some, five days of my life. Was it the best? I was gonna I say, what are the ones, because I know I've seen you on your Instagram, you've played a couple of epic courses. Yeah, I, I like to get around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, we've played uh, Pebble, Spyglass, Spanish Bay, um, and Poppy Hills. And it was just 18, 36, 36, 36, 18. I mean, we did it up. That's and, a trip. Yeah, I mean, started the, Swing oil at 7 a.m. didn't stop until 11. I mean, it was I was dead when I came back, an actual corpse. Like it was, but I mean, it was worth it. It worth was. Every minute. I will it, the best trip. If you haven't done it, you have to get out there. It's amazing.
Kent again just showing off about a football field ahead of us here. That's a bomb up there. Hey, I'm in the fairway. I'll take that any day. <laughs> it's got to be a 300 plus poke. It's a big, big ball there. Playing yours. Is there anything dangerous behind it? No, it's just rough, it goes around. Okay. Oh. oh, come on, really? A good shot right there. All right, making the turn here. Fuel. I had to fuel up a little bit. Fuel up. I lost my cart. Anyway, back nine here. I got nothing to say. I got nothing to say. All right, Mike, first time playing this course. What are your uh, first impressions? I love that it's open. <laughs> Taking trees out of a course is like a blessing because I can get aggressive, how I've been doing it off every tee shot here, but overall, really cool vibe. Exactly what Jackie said, this club's got such a chill vibe and I can tell it from just the, the people, the way they interact. That's what you want in a country club. 170 shot, a little bit of wind at this tree right in front of me. Time to go up and over. Good rope, good rope. Didn't go through. Didn't go through. I tell you, it is sad to see when some trees had to come out, like he was talking about, about being, some of the trees were dead and had to come out. Um, but I do like, not only as Mike was saying, how it's a little friendlier being more open, but I also do like, it really opened up the views here. You saw some of the views back on that par three, beautiful. What was it, the fifth and sixth hole there? Kent was saying um, before that, that whole view was blocked out by the trees. It made it a harder shot, yes, but I also, I mean, the openness here, it just got a, uh, a nice feeling when you have views in every direction. All right, don't hit it low. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my motivation to get it up in the air. No stingers right now, man. Get way up to get away from that. No stingers. No stingers. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> just, just hit the brakes. All right, no easy par three here. 208 middle on the watch, and you know these greens, guys. They're small. Just your standard easy 215 yard par three here. <laughs> A little bit, come on. Alright. What are you going with driver? That's right. Yeah. I have to miss this green. <laughs> Alright, he's got the hybrid in hand. I think anywhere on the screen you're happy. Oh yeah, anywhere around this screen. Took the wind out of it. Told you I was gonna putt it. Greenside bunker. All right guys, are you a walker or are you a rider? I like to walk every now and then. Don't get me wrong, obviously with all the camera equipment it's good to have a car, but that's what we got Alex for. But if you're a walker, let me let us know. Comment below, what do you prefer? If you have the choice, do you strap the bag on your back? Do you use the push cart? Are you a cart guy all day? Don't walk, never walk type of person? Let us know, I'm curious.
All right, I see the sign. It's a little bit ominous. Tell us about the yep. horseshoe. So prior to the horseshoe, these three holes, 13, 14, and 15, uh, were surrounded by a lot of trees, especially between 13 and the 15th hole. It was a very low, wet area with a lot of woods. So the renovation came in, they opened up the whole area. Now there is a formal penalty area between them. Down the 15th hole, they reshaped it, they put in some bunkers. There's some fescue areas to match the rest of the hole. So when we get up there on that 15th tee box, you'll really start to see those changes as well. Yeah, I, I was just even, we were talking about it, right, Mike, coming down over here as we start to see these holes, mm -hmm. how pretty it looked from a distance. Oh yeah, from this looks great. Yeah, now let's see how bad it beats us up. <laughs> Hang on. Ooh, what's the same thing? All right, Jackie, we saw a lot of small greens. Would you say this is the smallest one? This is by far the smallest. You're gonna get up there and be like, I've never seen anything so <laughs> tiny. Yeah, it's long, it's uphill, it's 175. And the wind is whipping. Wind you see that whipping. flag back there? All right, small target. Aim small, miss small. Like it. Let's go. Let's try it. I got behind it. Go. Yeah, you did. Way behind it. Hey Mike, I think that green you put in your backyard, I think it's bigger than this one. Oh, it definitely is. <laughs> you can lay down over there and touch both sides. Oh! oh. That, that would have been a, a par and a half from F that tee shot. All right guys, we've reached the 15th hole here of the horseshoe, and I tell you what, the views from up top certainly are pretty. And I love it, looking downhill, about 400 yards downhill at this par four, and you see some amazing pops of color down there with the fescue behind it. It is one pretty hole, but it's a challenging hole. So let's tee it up. All right, Mike, what's your play? All right, driver, right? Of course. Of course. 400 yards downhill. It's tight. Send it. Send, Send it. it. Send Dead it. straight. You're gonna be okay. 294. Got all of it. Think I can lose it? Hold on. Come on. Nope. She's right there. Good shot. Let's go. Wedge game. All right, Mike, I thought I was in trouble. Wait till you see where I am in this bunker, but you know what? I do not envy you right now. What is this? <laughs> what is this? I think I just putt it, right? Because I think if I could just get it out to here. Let's just get perspective on this thing. That thing is about waist high on you if you stand at ground level there. go like this. Yeah, did you, did you bring your like hatchet or your, what's it called, a sickle? Sickle? <laughs> you got a sickle, sickle in your bag? All right, here goes nothing. Oh, I wanted that to go. Now, so I've been bad. playing golf for about 20 years and I've never seen someone swing a golf club <laughs> like that before. It's called creative. I don't know how I'm going to stand. <laughs> this is great. Make sure you get through. So good. Oh. Wow. Ooh. That was tough. Good roll. For par. Start turning left. Went Ooh, right. Ooh, all right. That was wild. Happy to walk out of there with a bogey. Very happy. Tough hole, pretty though. And now we got another pretty par three here over the water. Again, wind, a little bit of a wild card right now, but smile on my face because this place is beautiful. Yeah, 
I'm gonna win. See that house out there in the distance? You can't miss it. It's Mariano Rivera's house. Mo, best closer in the game. All right, Mo. Oh, I tried to give it everything because I wanted to break a window. You're trying to hit it in his backyard so that you can go over there and excuse to talk to him, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna run with that excuse. <laughs> go knock on his door? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Hey Mo, you wanna hey, play 18? Yeah. That's cool. This is where you really have the opportunity to... to yeah, do. I'm gonna end up in his... In his yard. Kitchen. Oh, Mariano Rivera, I'm sorry. Yikes. All right, Mo, I apologize again. Anymore. Look at that. So That's why they pay him the big bucks. All right, Jackie, thanks again. Tremendous day. So glad to have you guys out here. It was a ton of fun. It really was. And tell us if people want to find out more about the club, how do they do so? You can reach out to me, Jackie Feldetta, at Westchester Hills. Uh, if you give us a follow on Instagram, WHGC1913, you can reach out through there. I'm happy to help you guys come out for a round of golf, play with me and some members. We'll have a great time. Yeah, it's a terrific place, and it is no surprise why you're up so many members this year. <sighs> Thanks. So we appreciate everything, appreciate the hospitality, it was just, a, it was a lot of fun out Anytime. here today. Anytime, same here. We'll have you guys back soon. Excellent, thank you.